So this time on Weekend Rental, we played Temple of Rubbo, a one to four player dungeon crawler from Sock Pop Collective, found on itch.io and I think also on Steam. It's a five dollar game, promises fast action uh, in the roguelike variety with lots of cute little animals. Um, we've played about an hour this week, I think, maybe an hour and a half. Um, but uh, to start us off, I'm going to ask Daimon Time what he thought of this game. Well, Philip, I gave this one a solid four Garfields. Um, yeah, this game, I, I, I got to look at it for just a brief moment before we loaded it up. And, and it, I think it mentioned at one point that there's no tutorial to sit through. You just sort of get in there and start doing it. And... I think they really nailed the simplicity of this one. Um, didn't take long for you to figure out what you liked to lean into, and uh, if you if you felt if you felt that you were more inclined towards ranged weapons or uh, melee or what have you, uh, all that stuff was there, and those those paths branched out pretty nicely, and. Uh, yeah, I think it was great for for what we were doing tonight. I mean, aside from us doing this, this is my first week back to weekend rental in a couple of weeks. I've been sort of Elden Ring pilled, and uh, it's the first game that I've played since Elden Ring came out. And just the sheer simplicity of it is really quite refreshing. Nice chance for me to get to chat with my buds and play a fun game at the same time. Uh... What do you think about this one, Neo Sense? This game was very cute. Gets a three and a half out of four out of five uh, for me because it was a little rough around the edges. But that's just a, it, this was a sock pop joint. Far, uh, far and away, this is what they do. Very cute. It's like if you were playing Zelda, but everything was made out of crepe paper, uh, and you cut it out with a pair of scissors before, and just kind of pushed them around uh, on a, a nice gridded out looking uh, dungeon. The colors are really great. Everything's cute and pops and makes funny little noises. You can kind of hear that the developers of this made some of these noises themselves. And the whole thing's just utterly charming. Uh, I would expect no less from the, the thoroughly charming Sock Pop Collective. Uh, and yeah, every run we did, I, we discovered a couple more things and you say, oh yeah, there's, there's enough in here to keep you going. Uh, my only points off were it gets a little crowded. Uh, you get stuck on doorways trying to get through and some things weren't as clear as they could be, or uh, there were some UI issues of text all laying on top of one another while you're going through. But there was a moment where we were all walking through a corridor and I, I'm a, a goose with a funny hat on and uh, there's a crocodile with a big sweater and we're all swinging sticks and whatnot at little hobgoblin cartoons. Totally cute, totally charming. G give it a try and always support uh, so Sock Pop. They're, they're really great. But I gotta know, what'd you think, Filter? Yeah, um, I, I also gave this one a 3.5 out of 5. I uh, agree with most of the stuff I was hearing. It's cute. It's it's definitely a bit clumsy, um, but it's it's a good co-op time. Um, and I love the animal themes that they've got going on here, and the bright colors, uh, and, the, and the little animal... De um, not animal, the monster designs that they have that are kind of riffs on Zelda monsters, who, or... Dungeons and Dragons monsters. You got your skeletons, your bats, your zombies, snails, uh, what have you. A lot of variety in there, um, especially for such a compact and and uh, small little game that they, they put in. Um, you can tell they put in a lot of effort and thought into this. It's just a little, a uh, bit of a shame to me that it didn't get just a tiny bit more polish. It would give it um, what it needs to make it maybe scale to three to four players better than it than it did for us like uh you know since was saying it got a little cluttered um some of the alleyways you're walking through or the, the rooms are kind of tight for three players especially when you don't have little indicators under your guy to say you know you know player one is red this always has a red ring under it i always like to see that kind of thing 
in a game like this. But I mean, for what it is, um, five dollars, you know, it's a good time. Probably better played with just two people, maybe even by yourself. Um, but I think there's a lot here that you can go back and revisit and see what more you can find. Um, and it's got the immediacy that it, it needs for the type of game that it is. So I would definitely recommend checking it out, um, but you know, don't expect to play it for a very long amount of time, but that's exactly what you want. You want a little uh, nice bit of candy, and I think this provides that. Yeah, okay. absolutely. It's, it's a snack. It's a snack of a game. <laughs> Once, uh, uh, it's a snack not unlike um, our favorite snack here on Input Select, uh, Five Gum. Oh gosh! When I chew five gum, it's like I've got an ice wand. <laughs> yeah, so I zapped an ice wand in my mouth. <laughs> it's like I got teleported to the island of Rubbo, and I'm just in the dungeon of Rubbo. You know, looking for a wand. Try not uh, to gum. <laughs> <laughs> you won't last five minutes in this game. You won't last five, <laughs> won't five last. minutes with that five gum. Try not to gum. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.